The Boston Celtics just paid back the Milwaukee Bucks in game two by completely changing up their strategy. Now, there were some red flags that I see coming for Boston in game three, but first we need to dive into the three reasons why the Celtics were able to dominate the defending champs and what they'll need to do for game three. The first reason was all about ball movement and the way that the Celtics chose to attack the Bucks. I can't say enough about how important the first three or four possessions of a basketball game are and that these teams couldn't have ran things any more different. Take a look at this possession as Boston is giving up good shots for gooder ones. This does two things. Obviously it creates high quality percentage looks, but it engages the entire team and sets the tone for the rest of the game. There were a total of six different passes on this possession, which is amazing for your team chemistry and energy going forward. Milwaukee did the exact opposite as Giannis was basically just running isolation after isolation and his teammates were not involved. This impacted the Bucks in a huge way for this game and we're going to get into a little bit more detail on the secret reason why Giannis was probably actually doing this. I can summarize the entire first half of the Bucks possessions in these next two plays, just taking selfish shots. What happens if you don't touch the ball for the first four possessions? You're probably just going to shoot the ball. This is why it's so important for any NBA team or any team at all just to get that ball fired around, especially if you're the point guard. Oh, this possession is so bad. I'm just going to shut up. Here's one of the sets that the Boston Celtics were running in the first game where they were running a pick play with Al Horford and a dribble handoff, which led to him popping for the nice shot. This is a really nice play design, but you're going to see how they run the exact same action action but with different personnel. Now the last time we showed you this, they ran this same fake handoff and then the pin down on the left hand side of the screen. Rather than the screener popping, he actually just sets a solid screen which gives Tatum a wide open look. Once you've actually established the fact that you're passing and moving the ball, then these shots don't seem so selfish. Check out this play here as the Celtics are penetrating and forcing closeouts and they just continually attack those closeouts and look at the eyes here for Jason Tatum. His eyes are the reason why Giannis can't commit to one player or the other. Have a look again how the drive makes help come, which forces rotation, which forces pass, which gives a closeout, which gets a drive, which forces more help, which forces another pass to a wide open shooter. I'm out of breath and that's really good offense. Reason number two was the best way I've ever seen anybody ever play against Giannis before. Watch how Grant Williams sags off of Giannis, lets Giannis come to him and just gets beaten in the chest and then a little bit in the face. Grant Williams is doing things that other defenders need to take note of and learn from. First, he is lining up Giannis's path well before that and he is meeting him at the elbow, which means Giannis can't do the patented Euro step all the way to the cup. Al Horford played this exactly the same way. Look at him line Giannis up, meet him at the elbow, take the bump, get grounded again and put your arm straight up really great defense. Now Giannis is thinking that he's going to be getting calls, but look how straight up Grant Williams is. Giannis is the one initiating all of the contact in this scenario. Giannis Attentacupo shot 0 for 6 to start the game, and you can just see his level of frustration as he scores a basket and just holds the ball and looks straight up exhausted. I clearly have the smartest subscribers as the final reason was actually called out by one of you. Because of that defense, they were not helping and sagging off, giving up the wide open three point shot. The reason I would have cause for concern for the Celtics is because of the pick and roll scenario where they actually started to use Giannis in the pick and roll game towards the end, which led to a bit of a comeback. And if you like comebacks, you should probably watch this one over here. It's 26 points.